everyone we are back with uh with another video with a uh, sort of subject which well, is a, a risen from the dead shall we say uh a long time ago there was um a game called <laughs> outrun 2 which was had an arcade release and later on it got released on i believe the original xbox the playstation 2 and maybe the psp i think uh and then like a few years after that or a few or a year after that uh, an update was released called Outrun Coast to Coast, which basically uh, in the arcade there was a couple of revisions and they added new tracks and a new completely new course um, structure. Uh, and that's called Outrun 2 SP. So basically, Coast to Coast includes the original Outrun 2 arcade and then this new update Outrun 2 SP. Uh, so basically, it's two sets of like the, the pyramid tracks you've got in Outrun, like the courses. There's two sets of them basically. Uh, and that said, Coast to Coast was released on, I believe, the Xbox again, and the PlayStation 2, and the Switch, and also this time around it got a PC release. And after that, there was a uh, another uh, release of Outrun 2, which was called Outrun 2 on Online, which was just, I think, was for digital distribution, which was for the, I think, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Uh, but going back to the PC release, uh, this used to be widely available digitally. I think they even could get a physical copy like as well. Uh, but you can't get it digitally anymore. It used to be on Steam. It's been delisted because Sega lost the license for Ferrari. Uh, so as is with modern game distribution, as soon as a license is lost, it has to be taken down. So you can't get the game um by the letter of the law anymore digitally um but uh after that because it was taken down it never got updated anymore so for modern day os's it um like windows um windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 uh, the game didn't play that well anymore um from what i can recall recollect it's basically uh, there's no widescreen um support for it uh, the graphics uh, glitch i think controller put support wasn't that great for it a lot of sound issues. Basically, it's very buggy using on modern day OSs. Uh, but a few years back, a um, a, a developer made um, this thing we're looking at now, which is called Outrun 2006 Tweaks. I guess it was released in 2006. That's a long time ago. And this has been dormant for a long time. But now, as I said, Risen from the Grave, he has um, released an update to this, which basically. Uh, fixes a lot of the the issues so basically here it's um basically the ui can now be scaled up with proper widescreen ratio uh, ratio so if you used to try and force it to widescreen you stretch the whole hud um basically uh, disable vehicle loads uh so when they don't pop in you know distance um lens flare has been fixed so basically there's a lot of graphical itch issues um, from the last release, digital release on newer OSs, uh, I think the frame rate is an issue. But basically, this tweak patch basically fix pretty much all of the graphical issues and makes it uh, just gives you um, quality of life updates now. Um, as I said, this game cannot be bought um, by the letter of the law properly anymore. But uh, if we look at like places like my abandoned where it will be on here somewhere. There you go, out on coast to coast. Um, uh, do different varieties of it. Oh, I've downloaded that already, and I think on Internet Archive it's probably be, be on here as well, I should imagine. Or maybe not. You've got PC version, PlayStation version, so it's on there as well, which is excellent. So there is ways you can get it, but today we're basically um, we should download this the latest version, which I think was the latest version was just released a couple of hours ago, as the time of this recording, yeah, sixteen hours ago. So basically, you download the zip files, and you basically you just open the zip and copy into the um the installation folder where you've installed out one there's also a sound fix apparently one of the soundtracks russia difficulty was a bit bugged as well go download that as well 
Um, there's also texture packs as well. We have down here. So basically, uh, we have some UI textures fixed. Uh, there is a uh, so it fixes the flags and um, the bu the button prompts because it's a PC dated PC release. It never actually changed the um, the button prompts for like getting to menus and that. But it looks at like this one. We we'll have the prompts and the flags also for Xbox and PC, uh, PlayStation. Um. Other one, Carissa Sprite fix. Basically, this was this. I understand this. This picture was censored outside of Japan, so we should download that as well. Download. Thank you very much. And uh, what else? It's like UI textures. From what I understand, these texture packs, you basically put them in the textures load folder within the game. So we open this. That one. So here's a folder. So we've got the new tweak, which fixes everything. So extract that. No, thank you. Um, sound fixes. Button mapping. Does anyone actually buy WinRAR? Seriously. Um, uh, the Clarissa fix. Some of the um, update textures. Seems to be quite a few in that. Awesome. Basically, you want to copy all these. Into your where your outrun is installed. So mine's in games. Over there. So basically, don't think it matters what order you apply these in. So grab these, drag them over. It'll ask you to overwrite, replace them all. That one. The sound fix. Replace all. And these have to go into the textures folder. You need to create. Actually, I know what. One of these. One of these has a textures folder. Check that. Into that. Yep. Right, textures. This one. This one. Textures. Load. Copy. Right. Oh, replace already. Actually, replace. I'm guessing you want to do the Clarissa one afterwards. Is that a name? I'm just making that name up. It's Clarissa. I'll put the Clarissa one in afterwards. Because I'm guessing. Or maybe his one includes it because it does say Clarissa fix, doesn't it? So maybe he has it already. So maybe if you download the X, um, if you download uh, flags and buttons, the Clarissa one on the census Clarissa, maybe you don't need to download this one. But I've done it anyway. And then some textures. No, it wasn't textures, it was the buttons I got to do, wasn't it? The buttons I had to do. Maybe you don't need to do the buttons too. Maybe his um There's some UI textures. Maybe this one does everything, I'm not sure, but I've just updated it anyway. Just because oh, I have no idea if that works. Um
Well, now let's load the game, and that should have all worked. Where's the .exe file? There it is, coast to coast. I guess at some point, I guess when they release different versions, the top screen may be updated. Hi, res. So, yeah, the button's working. Yeah, definitely the buttons are working, which is good. In the more outward mode. Let's try SP, shall we? I haven't locked any of the cars, so yeah, straight away you can tell this is a much higher definition. The models, the, the text now, all the all the menus are a lot better. It's definitely white. What I have noticed is the uh, the female um, narrator narrator announcer doesn't say the track name the music track name when you um when you pick the track. Like, yeah, ready? Yeah. 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 This is looking better. Uh, my monitor is a 1440p monitor, so it's not 4K, but it will go to 4K. And now this is loads better. Such a difference it makes. Just a small tweak that this developer's done on this project. I guess we'll have to change the name now, maybe to Outrun Tweaks 2024. But this probably now is the definitive way to play Outrun Coast to Coast. It's beat its rival before split off. Just about. And we've got the flamingos that time. Got the lens there back, which wasn't in the other version. I want to go far the initial, away. initial uh, original release. servers. Maybe it's something that maybe the developer of this new patch is looking into. It. I can't force that camp. 
Van Gogh in. I mean, I've got 285 now, but then 285 kilometers an hour then. Now it's got his rotation. That crash might cost me dearly. Much better than bad, the first crash. Off the run. And another camper van could have been drawn out. Walk out from here. I wanna go ahead. Can't afford any mess up there. Big time then. So delivery near the end. Come on, let's do this. Let's go! There were a little bit of graphical glitches there on the car and this cut scene here, but I mean, it's incredible what they've managed to do with this uh, with this patch, and hopefully it gets uh, keeps getting supported. Uh, as I said, and the top screens will be updated. I guess there's loads more they could do if they wanted to. Maybe even add HDR, possibly at some point. It'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd do this video just to uh, big up this project and uh, yeah, get some uh, recognition of it out there. Really. Um, but yeah. Uh, Long live Outrun, and uh, come on Sega, make another Outrun, huh? You prove you don't need the, uh, you don't need the Ferrari license, because the uh, 3DS releases that come out a couple of years ago, which are awesome ports of the game, in 3D, widescreen, uh, they didn't have the uh, Ferrari license, they just, uh, the car very, was looking very similar, but enough, so it didn't represent, represent a, uh, or resemble even, a, uh, a Ferrari Tessarossa. Uh, but yeah, come on Sega, give us another outline. Okay guys, I shall uh, catch you on the next one. Bye.